Good morning, people. Good thing is I can still walk. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, back pain, that shit hurts. See, what happened was, <laughs> what happened was, um, I did, I did five sets of, uh, squats, which are fine. I did that. You'll see a clip of that. And then I did um, three sets of deadlifts. This right here was my second set. I was feeling pretty good. Um, I didn't have any pain on my back or anything. I was, I was good. I, had, I was having a pretty uh, badass workout right here. Because um, I was coming up on my last set, so I was already kind of tiring out. And then um, for when I was doing my squats, you know, when I do my warm up, I warm up with like really lightweight and I kind of just burn out, you know. So my legs were pretty much toast here. Um, like I said, I was having a pretty good workout. So, yeah. Should have been done there. My next, my next, um, my next uh, work, uh, workout I had to do was, uh, I think there were the lion leg, uh, lion leg curls. But for some reason, I ended up going to the hack, uh, the squat hack um, machine, and my legs were already done. Like I, I knew, like I don't know why, I don't know why I went there, but I did. It was already loaded too, so it had two two plates, uh, forty five on each side, which that's fine because that's that's usually what I start with. So I did I did three sets of those, and then I added another forty five on each side. I did my I did a first set, and then on the second set, on my on my second rep, I went down, and I was coming back up, and then that's when I felt a pop. I just felt a pop, but like it was instantly, and like I just. I went down like there was no way of holding the weight up there was like um i don't know it was i didn't like i didn't feel i didn't feel pain right away i just heard like a pop in my in my back so i just went that oh, looks like i have a fucking hair yep it's millie's hair it's my nose but um so i felt the pop and i just i just went down it didn't hurt it didn't hurt but i knew something happened because i because of that pop so anyway so i i, I got up and um, I just felt like tension right on my back. It was really tight. Um, so I just unloaded all the weights and put everything back. And um, I, I walked it off a bit. Like I went down to the bathroom or into the men's locker room. And um, yeah, so I mean, I, I felt good. I sat down for a little bit and then I got back up. And then um, I went to go do my leg curl. I went to go do one one set. But bringing that up, I can still feel that tension in my back. So I was like, nope. 
this isn't gonna work out. So I ended up cutting my workout sh uh, short that day, which was yesterday. And um, yeah, I made an appointment to the back doctors in Reno, Plum, I think it is. And yeah, they took x-rays, so I go back today at 12.45, it's 10.20 right now. So uh, see what they tell me. And hopefully I can get aligned and get this shit fixed. Cause it's, it's just like, I don't know, I don't know if any of you have ever had back pain, but this shit sucks. It's like it it slows you down. It slows you down. It's crazy, and like you get like these little muscle spasms where it like holds you back. Yeah, so like it really sucks. So guys, be careful and learn from your mistakes. I like I knew I should have just gone to that fucking line leg curl machine, but I didn't. And like my legs were done already. So that's another thing too. If you're already fatigued, like there's no point. But that's where I fuck up a lot because like I always try to push myself way more. I just like I'm like now nah, I can do it. I can do it, and you know shit like this happens. But lesson learned: when you're fatigued already from that, you know from from doing something, just move on to the next thing. You know, so that's my advice: don't overdo it. That's what's gonna happen today. So hopefully I can get aligned and get my fucking shit uh, fixed. So I can get back to it. <laughs> so yeah, so I'll record up there. See if um they'll let me. So, so do my thing. Took my morning uh, vitamin, my L-carnitine, and I took my aminos as well too. Just because I'm not gonna work out today. There's no way in hell I can, <laughs> even if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna happen. I'll see you guys in a bit. We are here. Hold on. Oh, damn it. Hold on. This thing got caught right here. Brought your sweater. Stay at home CNA with me. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll know today. Go, Dad. Go, get inside. Put no, it in. you. Okay. Go. Is it okay if I record in here? Yeah. Okay, cool. So we finally got into the room and there is my x-ray up on the screen there uh, I'll zoom in in a bit <laughs> that's little Isaiah right there there you go so where my where it hurts on me it's around L5 to like L2 so like that's obviously my lower back there um, I didn't um, I didn't record when he was talking to me I just kind of felt weird. I just kind of felt weird having the camera out while he was trying to uh, talk to me. But you can see, um, well, you can't see in this one. But when he went in there and started talking, he changed the image to where it's, you know, it's a side image, and we're supposed to have a curve there where the camera is at, like the L two from like the L five. We're supposed to have a curve there, and with my back, it's like just stacked up like blocks, and it's not supposed to be like that. So that's where it's all tensed up. 
and then one of my hips is higher than the other one the, on the side from L5 um, is higher so um, here, once I go back to it so you guys can see what I'm talking about there's a line there's a two lines in the middle I don't know if you can see it now that I zoomed out but there's two lines there's a dotted line and there's a straight solid line down through from my mouth all the way down to the back of obviously all the way to the end of my back so where that line the solid line um, that's that's how straight I am and I'm supposed to be where the dotted line is at so if you guys just want to go back and and um, and see where it's at so I'm just like a little bit offline I'm not as bad you ever had an episode like this before? I have, like a few years back. I stepped into a, I was playing with my nephew and I stepped into a, a hole that we took a, a tree out and yeah, it was, I had to, it kind of felt like, I feel like this time it's worse, but that time I didn't even go to the chiropractor. I kind of just let it right out. And, and after that, that's when I've had that problem where like I, it's kind of like minor, you know, but it's still doable. Tender here? Uh, not, not so much. More here? I think it's a little, it's a little bit higher. Where do you feel it the most? Like up in there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right there, right where you push that into the spring of the pond. Step right up there. I'm gonna face down. Take your glasses. Mm -mm. Over. Then lean in. Your hands go up on these pads here. She said you were hurting pretty good yesterday. Yeah. And this year. Speed over to the end. A little bit more. feel a little tension there yeah you're going to you know and I'll after the first adjustment I'll tell people it it might feel better we certainly hope it does it could feel the same or it could feel even you know a little bit more sore or worse you know yeah. all those things are very normal a good thing to do is ice it probably every couple hours 15 minutes mm -hmm. and then you know just a little bit of in fact it's probably good to get up and walk around mm -hmm. for maybe five or ten minutes and then put the ice on there okay just do that as a routine mm -hmm. and it should slowly start to loosen up so once we get that adjustment and then the muscle spasms will start to calm down the inflammation will go away and the icing certainly helps with that too okay okay mm -hmm. she'll follow up with you tomorrow i'll leave notes and uh 
briefer on what we did today and you know it moved a lot better than I expected so that's a good start yeah okay so we got high hopes for the weekend so <laughs> some of these cases it's just so tight it literally takes us a few adjustments just to get it okay. you know to listen to us so your ears is better than I thought so cool okay yeah, I was worried. I was like, man. <laughs> so, yo, so that's what happened today. Um, I have another appointment tomorrow at 11:45 to get um, aligned again. I still feel that fucking tension, so it sucks. Um, like the thing is, I can I can walk a little bit better now. Yesterday was like, I was kind of freaking out yesterday because, um, I mean, obviously they didn't show it, but. Um, we went to the store and like I'd be walking and like it it was just like a I just say muscle spasm like you can feel it like it's weird it's weird to explain because you can feel it like tense up and like you have to stop walking you kind of just like you, you just, or either you stop walking or you like walk super weird because like you don't want it to like get to the point where it's just like holy shit you know or it's like getting a cramp you know if you move a certain way, it, oh, it cramps up. So that's what I was feeling yesterday. And um, so I was glad I went today. And then I gotta go tomorrow. And um, after tomorrow, then I think I have to go again and then again. So hopefully I, c I can get this thing out. So I think I'll be out of the gym for a good two, three weeks. I'm hoping, because fuck, it sucks. Like I'm, I was pretty bummed. I was, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm. I'm pretty bummed that, that that happened, but fuck it. It is what it is, and um, as long as I can walk, I'm cool. <laughs> so we'll see. I can't do, like, sudden movements, you know? Like, it's crazy. Like, you notice every little thing you do when you're... It's like getting a paper cut, you know? You always touch that fucking spot. So that's kind of how it is when you have a back injury. Like, you know, like, if a paper drops, you're so used to just kind of, like, reaching for it. You can't do that shit because, like you'll spasm like your back will spasm and it fucking hurts so it sucks i have to like when i bend down i have to like bend down like in an angle like if i'm squatting pretty much for it not to hurt so i can't just like bend down or you know lean back i have to like it's i think I'm, i feel like i'm a little bit hunched because if i go back too far then it hurts so yeah it fucking sucks but who knows, maybe this should happen just to get my back fixed because like I said, like you guys saw in the video, I've had, you know, a back issue fucking since way back when, but I never really addressed it, so I w it was still manageable. I mean, obviously I was going to the gym and that was fine. So the only thing that happened was that I just get like sore at times and I kind of just learned to live with it. So that's what happened. I said fucking like it wasn't too bad to where I'm like, fuck, I have to go to the doctor. But this shit this shit is different <laughs> this shit hurts so that's what happened so tomorrow 11 45 we got another appointment and um yeah so we'll see what what happens then so until tomorrow guys fucking take care of your back peace thanks for watching